Remember now, gaga at the end means all of you, okay? But if I'm just talking to Kristen, I say, okay? Okay, remember now, level two, we're moving on and we did emotions. So we're going to go back over emotion and we're going to go a little in depth and it's going to be a little different with every emotion, okay? Here we go. Here's the emotions. And remember, we're doing like everyday things. And I know you go by this emotions every day. Afachki, happy. Chabakki, mad. Anogichka, love. Puhyagi, lonely. Fiknokki, sad. Fikhitigo, restless or troubled. Fiksungi, surprised. Fikchakhi, jealous. Fikhiska is when you got peace. Igasami, pride. Bingali, scared. Imidihuski, confused. Iliski, peep. Nayothi, annoyed. Kursabi, desperate. Okay? I see I have some in there. Let's see. Okay, this is using sentences, okay? When you're, this, this is like a description of what a person is. The baby is happy. The dog is mad. And that can mean mean too, okay? So like when they say the dog is mean, they can say, if a jabaki dos. Mean he can bite you. Jaboja anogitska ojidos. My grandpa has love. Hokti buhyagidos. The girl is lonely. Fignoki hithigodos. Being sad is not good. Chibanat fikhithidos. The boy is restless or troubled. Istuji fiksongidos. The baby is surprised. Ishti fikjakhidos. The person or this person is jealous. It is good to have peace. Fikhiska ojida hithidos. Okay, and when I'm going through these sentences, try to figure out. Oji is to have. Hithi is good. Okay, and remember, dos is it is. Remember, it's a filler. The lion is brave. Istibaba fikhamgidos. The girl is prideful. And as you can notice, I use dos through this whole sentence. So you'll know that is is dos. Okay? Is is dos. The cat is scared. Orsi bingalidos. The person is confused. Isti imidihoski dos. The girl is peeved. If a nayothi dos. The dog is annoyed. Isti kosabi dos. The person is desperate or greedy. Okay. Any questions so far? Because I did this in a way where you know is is dos. We use dos. Remember, it's like a filler. It can be it is, it, it can. Is is okay. So when I say istuji afachkidos, the baby is happy. Okay, D. We never use D. Okay. In English, we can to translate some of this, but we hardly we don't use D at all. It's in it's in the ending or the beginning or the ending of another word when we use D. Okay. So and we're gonna get to that too. But now uh, we're going to do some stuff in parts. Um, August classes is going to have who, when, and why, who, why, when, and who. And I'm going to show you how to use those when you're talking. Okay. But right now we're going to do emotions. Okay. 
the baby is surprised. Is to g fixum giddos. And remember, fig is the short, the base word for fig is figi. Okay, figi, which means hard. Jibana fig hithi dos. Fig hithi go. Fig hithi dos. That's wrong, in fact. Fig nuki hithi go dos. See, hithi go. The base word for hithida. It's a remember we said verbs are the main uh, component of the language. Hithida is to be is to be good, and this is changed because it's an infinitive verb and it ends with the e d a. Okay, ida. <laughs> okay, here we go now. This is emotions too. Okay, look here how we use this, guys. I want you to get your other people paper out and compare here. Lobeji, kind. Lobeji. And this means like, uh, Lobeji can mean like in kindness or like, um, uh, in other words, can be like uh, calm, you know, like, if a lobeji dos, the dog is kind, but that does that's what situation environment is. That means like the dog is friendly, okay? Friendly. See how this uh, and we're gonna go over these. We're gonna review them. We're gonna go back over these until you know that. But it means kind, lobeji. Miska means pity. Miska oji does. Should have pity, and that means miska can mean, and you know, in the English, pity kind of means uh, like you should, you know. Uh, actually, it means have compassion. You should have compassion. See, miska, that's what it. But you know, pity is what it, you know, really does. Okay. Boshi dafa jijeji dos. The cat is hilarious. Hilarious can be funny, but you can't say that. Uh, <coughs> it's making it say that it's hilarious. It makes you feel hilarious. Okay, so you say da fa ji ji da fa ji ji do. Okay, homiji da. That means okay, homiji. Like um, in homiji is mean, okay, to be mad at somebody. Hey, homiji da hithigo doies. It's no good to have hate, okay. And oh, see, there's a lot of times that people have felt, you know, shame. I fell out in front of people before, and I was like trying to recover real quick so nobody see me, and I was shamed out or I was embarrassed. And that's another name for embarrassed, okay? Baby Oshidoes, baby was getting shamed or the baby was getting uh, uh, embarrassed. You know, sometimes you'll talk to a baby and he'll kind of turn his head and does a, oh, oh, she don't just, you're making him, you're getting him embarrassed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And you see kids like that. You see babies, you um, know. Sandwich. Oh, she, baby, oh, she do it. So it says the baby gets shame. He's get, he gets embarrassed when you talk to him, okay? So that's it. Oh, she. And look here, baby. See how I did this? Now listen up, guys. This is Creeklish. Baby. Usually I say istuji. A small person, but this time I put BB. That's crinklish for baby. Okay, baby is BB. And people used to say BB. They'd say BB, and that was crinklish for baby. Okay. See now your fedgy concern. If can see now fancy doors, he or she is concerned about dad. Okay, about dad. See now fancy means concerned. 
okay, concerned or worried about. Concerned and worried is about the same. So you can say, see now if Edgy worried or concerned about that. Okay, here's a new word now. Now listen, I've been putting words in here because we're moving on. you got to start learning new words, in-depth words. So this says miska is compassion. Miska is compassion. But look here, mesti, miska, ojidos, mesti. That person has compassion. Mesti is used for a person, usually a male, usually a male. My mother calls my husband Mesti. And when she would call, she'd say, Mesti, don't go on Dalega. And that question was, is that person doing, is he here or is he sitting in the house okay? See, but he called her, he, she called him Mesti. Mesti Miska. Mesti. M is me, A, C, D, E. Mesti. So, um, see, I, I put down Mesti Miska Ojidos. So I'm saying that male person has compassion. Okay. So my mother used to call my husband Mesti. That's what she called him, Mesti. And so we, you know, she'd say, Masti, don't go to Dalega. Or she'd ask me, how are you doing in Muskogee? Don't go to Dalega. And she'd say, are you okay? And I would say, eh and she'd go, Masti, how about that person, that male person, the male one? That's what she would say. So this is a new word, guys. Masti is a male person. Okay. Fignoki. Remember, Fignoki is like sadness or grief. It can be used as grief instead of being sad, but grief and sad can go together. Okay? So, Isti Ilibat Fignoki Ojiduis. When a person dies, it causes grief. Okay? But it can also cause sadness. So you can use this in two ways. That's why I'm saying we're going in depth here. We're going a little deeper. You can use this fiknoki as being sad or grieved. Okay. And remember, I told you I've been at one time, I've been every one of these. This is everyday feelings that you have. And that's why you're learning it in the language, because it's everyday feelings that you have. And what I try to teach is like everyday things that we use or we go through or that we use as speaking. And you may get some words in there like Mesti, Bibi, <laughs> that you, you know, that you didn't think there was, you know, words as. People don't hardly use that Mesti, but there is a word like that. And of course, I was raised by elders and I heard it, you know, yeah, kind of old words that is there. Um, and grief and sad, fiknuki is the same, okay? Desire. Desire. You know, desire seems like a very um, strong word, but this in our language, it means you like to have or you dream about having okay so chogo fucking jayaji dos iyaji is the base for yaji see i desire a big house but see remember when you go back to pronouns ja means you you want something ja something that you can't trans you cannot transfer that belongs to you like my mother, my father, I can't transfer them, so I have to use job. So I'm saying I can't transfer my desire for a big house, so I use jayaji in place of iyaji. I drop the e. 
Any questions so far? Because this is going a little deeper now. And the, see these uh, emotions are starting from sadness to grief, okay? Because they both cause a, a hurt heart. Any questions? Any questions? Huh? Any questions? Okay. Let's go back over emotions. Okay. I couldn't get emotions. Okay. Afuchki is happy. Chabaki can be mad or mean. Anogitska is love. Uhyagi is lonely. Fiknoki, here we go. See, Fiknoki, we use it as sad here, but it also means grief. Fikhiti means restless or troubled. Fiksungi is surprised. Fikchahi is jealous. Fikhiska is to have peace. Fikhamgi is brave. Now remember, on these sentences, you can replace any of this with a word, a thing, or object. Well, not an object, but a live thing, okay, that has feelings. A live thing that has feelings, okay? Hukti, <coughs> igasami dos. Igasami is prideful. Igasami is prideful. Sometimes that's good and sometimes that's bad. But my mom used to tell me, don't do that. Don't ever be that way. Um, Bingali is scared. Imidi huski. is a imidi huski is confused or uh, mixed up iliski is peeved the dog is annoyed nayofi nayofi is annoyed jordan nayofi <laughs> She gets annoyed. The person is gosabi, means desperate or greedy. And that can be used in two ways, good or bad, okay? And I call my husband greedy in a bad way. I say, do you want to be those? <laughs> but it can be like, um, uh, sometimes we'll use it in a very compassionate way, like, uh, you know, he was really in need of something or she was in need of something. So we use it like that too, you know. There's different ways to use these feelings, but these emotions is every day, guys. I've been every one of these probably at one time, maybe some, probably not Igasami. Fikjaki. Um, I'm going to tell you a story about Fikjaki. Um, my mom used to say, it's no good to be Fikjaki. And she would tell us, you know, all the time, don't be jealous. Or, you know, even with, you know, on anything, like if somebody's got something that you don't have, don't be jealous. Or, but for your husband, don't be jealous. But, you know, when we were growing up, um, we would, she'd tell us to slice an onion. 
And she said, when you slice an onion and your tears roll, when you burned your eyes, you're a jealous person over your husband. <laughs> and my grandma used to say, Jiffy oh, well, not my grandma, my mom, she used to say, Jiffy Jockey knows. <laughs> she said, you're jealous. And I would say, well, everybody tears when they cut onions. She said, I don't. <laughs> and she said, the only time that the onion will make your eyes run is when you're a jealous person. So I used to think, oh, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry, you know. And now, you know, I'm just like my mother. My daughter be cutting onions and they be tearing up. And I'll tell her that, you know. I said, you be jumpy do a dog. You're a jealous person. And that's over a spouse. That's over a spouse. And uh, they used to say, your eyes not supposed to run. You know, but this is when I was younger. And she used to tell us that all the time. And see, they had little things that they told us like that. You know, fix Sungi, surprised. Fix Hithi, restless or troubled. I think we all been through this one time or another. All been through these. You know, uh, and I remember we uh, in Fik Hungi, the lion is brave. Fik Hungi. Uh, sometimes we had to be, but you know, we would go somewhere. Uh, we used to ghost hunt when we were younger. We used to go ghost hunt and we went somewhere. Well, I got Fik Hungi and I would go, but if one person just moved, I'm gone. I was running back the other way. And it took one person to run to make all of us run, okay? Fik <coughs> I've been dead. I've had somebody, well, one of my coworkers jumped at me one time and I jumped, hollered and jumped. He likes doing that. My husband goes crazy all over the native quirks, but thinks I am overly superstitious, but I was brought up that. Well, you know, um, I guess it was to a superstition, you know, and they had little things that they told you. But, you know, uh, one time I was talking to my mom about little things that we practice, the little things that we believe in. And she said, um, something happened in the past or to one of the elders that it was it was more like a um, a shikka. A shikka means advice. And I always told my daughters when I gave them advice that my mother had told me about little things uh, was uh, don't test them. Don't test anything that your grandma had taught me to do. And you know that's what makes us so unique, I believe. While everybody is plain people. We have these little beliefs. And you know, they all kind of make sense once you start thinking about them. We all have these, that makes us unique and different, you know. So, and you know, to, uh, it's really unique. An American Indian, anyway, is unique. <clears throat> Due to the fact that we're the true Americans, for one thing. And another thing is that, um, you know, our, we have history. We have a history that makes us unique. And, and you know, we have all these little beliefs that uh, other people, but now if you look at every tribe, they have their own little beliefs, their own little legends, their own little stories, their own little ways. And we're all, and you know, it's just American Indians too. So we are unique people. Be proud of that. I like being different. I like being different. So being different is not, it's, it's not bad. And sometimes it's a good thing. Okay. So see how these are used now. Here we go again. We're going to go into this. Now see, we're going in depth, remember? So some of those words are here, but used in different ways. If a lobeji dos. Lobeji means kind, but it can also mean friendly. Um, Mithka, it you know in English it means pity, but you know we don't uh, we don't use pity in our language. It's a uh, we use compassion. We have compassion. 
hilarious, Dafa Jijeji. Dafa Jijeji says the cat is hilarious. Forty Dafa Jijeji does. That cat is hilarious. It makes you laugh. That cat really makes you just laugh. Homijida, homijida, he think or do is. It's no good to have hate. Bibi, here we go. See, Bibi. Instead of saying baby, we say Bibi. Bibi. Bibi of Shidoes. And you know, uh, a baby does get embarrassed sometimes. We have a, my little, uh, my daughter, my middle daughter, she has a baby that she takes care of all the time. And, and it's more, and it's more like her adoptive son. Uh, she just got two boys and the rest of her sisters got three. And she has this one that she keeps all the time. And he calls her mama and calls her husband daddy because she's had him so long. And uh, well, of course, he goes back to his family, but he comes back, you know, she keeps him a week or two at a time. And, uh, and he's just become a part of our family now. So anytime we're having to get together, he's there. And then if he's not, we ask, where's baby? But we, uh, so a BB, we say BB, and that's what I call him, BB. I say BB, and I'll, you know, look at him, and he'll get embarrassed. He'll put his head down and just kind of turn, you know, and I say, oh, baby, you know, but it's BB. BB, I'll see the West. See now, Feji, that's concern or worried. We can use it as worried. Or concern. If in now Fejidos, he or she is concerned about that. Mithka, compassion. And here's that word, guys, masti. Masti is a male. Is used for that for a person, usually a male. Okay. Most of the time male. Yeah, I'm gonna say usually. I'm not even gonna use usually, it's male. It's used for a male. <laughs> Isti ilibat fignuki ojidus. When a person dies, it causes grief or sadness. See, fignuki can be used as sadness too. Desire, iaji. Jogo takin jayajidos. I desire a big house or I want a big house. I desire a five story house. Sometimes I want my alone time and I'll go in my bedroom, you know, and sit there. And if it's just to sit there, I do. And sometimes I'll go in there because my grandkids are watching uh, a show on one of our TVs in the den, but I go into the bedroom to watch my TV in my bedroom because they watch, they watch cartoons 24-7. I don't see how you can, but they do. And the only time I watch cartoons is, and I'm embarrassed to say, on Saturday mornings, I get up early just to watch cartoons. I don't see those. <laughs> so, any questions so far? Any questions so far? Now, the 28th, I won't, we were not going to have class. Due to the fact that we'll be at River Spirit uh, doing a language symposium, so we were not we're not going to be here, but we'll be here Friday for sure. If anything doesn't happen, I don't plan. You know, I always anywhere I'm going to go, or if I, somebody says you want to go here next weekend, I don't plan. I always say if everything's okay, and that's because my mom told me to say that. She used to say. Never plan ahead always because you never know what's going to happen. She used to say if I'm able or if everything's okay. So Friday the 29th, I will be back if everything's okay. <laughs> but the 28th where uh, we plan to go to uh, uh, River Spirit for our language symposium. Okay. Now, August 5th, we're going in debt, guys. So we're going to use little different words and I'm kind of going to touch on them, but you're going to have to, um, we're going to do them in stages because uh, 
it's kind of hard to use these words or it's kind of confusing because <laughs> it's uh we we touched on it a little bit but we're going to go we're going to do in-depth studying on it okay why i'm just going to go through what we're going to go why when and who and i don't know why it's kind of confusing but it is and there's a certain way that it's used okay <laughs> why it's storming it's storming <clears throat> Like that first one, is storming Magidon Cha. Why are you saying that? See, I've I've been told that before. Why are you saying that? Uh, sometimes I get pessimistic and my mom didn't like it. She goes, Why are you saying that? Not storming Magidon Cha. Is storming Ma Magidon Cha. <laughs> Why are he or she saying that? Is storming Magidon Cha. Is storming why is the baby crying? Is Dorman if a woke? Supposed to be a W here, woke. Change that. I'll have to change it. I'll change it before we start this, but I'm just going through these. Woke doa. Woke. See how that woke. That's going to be hard. Your mouth is open. Woke. And your wookie doa, wookie, and that's got to be a W. I'll change that before we start all this. And then, and the increments, we're going to do these in increments. When is stolfen? Who is stemming? And then, after we learn this and how you use it, we're going to go to how, what, and which, and where. Okay. But right now we're just going to learn in August, we're going to learn why, when, and who. And it, it can be a little bit confusing and I don't know. Um, it's going, but you're going to learn. Them. If we have to stay on this for two more months, we will. Emotions too. And we'll do a review and we're going to be reviewing. So any questions so far on what we're going to go through, if there's any questions on emotions. This is something that we use every day. We say, why? And that could be a kid, you know, or that's me. Why are we going? Why are we going? Why are we doing this? When are we going to have dinner? Uh, when, is the, when is the dance? When is uh, uh, when is uh, uh, our ceremonies? When is the baby's birthday? Here's one right here. Hoktuji istovan ofloba. When is the little girl's birthday? When we going to bed? Uh, when we going to eat? See, and then who? This is another one that we use all the time. Who's kin to you? Who's your cousin? In our area, we'll say, who makes uh, turtle shells? Who makes cans to do our ceremonies? Who is over this program? Who is a leader of the workers? Who is, who's leading these people? Who's leading the dance? Who's dancing? See, this is all, this is everything that we ask questions about. Who died? Who was born? Who had a baby? Um, when was the baby born? When was it? What time was it born? All this is every day, guys, and that's what we're going to learn. Okay. So we're going to go through this. Any questions about what you're going to learn? And if you tell me to slow down, we will. If you say, let's go back to this, we will. Because this language has got you know i want to teach you in the right way 
because I don't want you going around speaking the wrong way. So you ask, don't be afraid to make mistakes and ask all the questions you want because that's what I'm here for. That's why I'm standing doing this, okay? So don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to make a mistake. Ask all the questions you want. If I can explain it, I will. Sometimes it's hard, but I, I'll try when you can try to uh, get it, okay? This language, you know, for our language, it, it's, it's in a stage now where we can't be a... Uh, uh, we don't want people speaking in a different way or a wrong way. So that's why I'm here. So don't matter how many questions you ask, I'm here. You ask and I'll do it. I'll try to explain to you. But these are kind of confusing. That's why, but we use this every day. Why, when, and who? Sometimes I'll get on there and I'll, I'll ask my husband, who'd you see today? That's one of the questions I ask every day. Who did you see today? And he'll tell me. Pronounce who again, okay? Istemat. 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 Look at that first one. Istemat jinnakdoa. Who is kin or cousin to you? See? Istemat. Istemat. Who? Who was that that just walked by? See? Who is that? Sometimes we'll be uh, sitting here and somebody be talking. We heard of, who is that? See? And, and, you know, this is nosy part of this, but it's everyday thing. And it can get important, like, uh, uh, who died? Who died? Or what happened? And that's going to be next. It's going to be uh, how, what, which, and where. And that's every day for me. I ask my grandkids, where are you going? Where are you going? What you doing? How do you do this? And that's my question a lot with my grandkids. How, what, which, where? And I'll say, where are you going? It's too hot. How are you going to do it? How are we going to do this? How are we going to lift this? See, it's, it's, it's everyday things, guys. But it's important part of the language because that's what you usually do. You ever say what? When somebody says something and you can't hear, you'll say what? You'll say what? Or you can say, what did she say? What did he say? See, this is part and part of that. You know, you, it's an everyday thing, guys. And that's what I want to teach you. Okay. Any questions? Like, when are you going to town? Istofandalova ayahancha. Ayahancha. Istofan is when. Dalova is town. Aya. Are you? Aya. Going. Hancha. Are you? When are you? See how this is going to come together for you? It's going to be, and that's what's so confusing. We really can't uh, translate these exactly to the English part. And sometimes, you know, people says we talk slang. It's not really slang, it's how we talk to each other in holding the conversation. There's like, um, there's the um, formal. We never talk formal, okay? Who is kin or cousin to you? Istemat jinnakdoa. And remember, you know, you got to put that tone in there because our language has tone and an accent, just like any other language. 
It's got a tone and an accent. So we say, you stem it. Jinnakdua. Who is kin or cousin to you? See the, see the, hear the tone? Hear the tone and the accent. We do have that. And then I taught tones in the earlier, a few months ago in the back first beginning, I taught tones and how they can change. Tones can change a meaning of a word. Tones can change a meaning of a word. And the accent of it can change the meaning of a word. It's them, Loja. How you doing, D? Who makes turtle shells? So, and right, you know, that's how come I teach tones. And listening skills is a big part of language. Listen and pick up your tones. If you learn your sounds, you will pick up the tones. And then you'll know when the, uh, the sounds can change, the tone can change the meaning of a word. It can change the meaning of a word. So I hope you got your uh, sound papers, previous students. If you got your sound papers, go over it once in a while. Go over it once in a while. Get your sounds down. Get your tones down. Huh? Any questions so far? But these emotions, everything that I'm going through, they are part of everyday living. Okay? Every day. Every day. There may be days you may be scared. There may be days that you're mad. There's days when you have love for somebody. There's days when you're lonely. There's times when you're just sad or grieved. There are days that you're just restless and troubled. There's days that you've been surprised. There's days when you've been maybe jealous. I don't know. My mom used to tell me, don't ever be that. And there's days you've had peace. There's days you had to be brave, like going into a dentist's office. I always had to be brave when I went to a dentist's office. Um, prideful. My mom always told me never to be prideful on this. And I've been scared. I've been confused. I've probably been mad, but my mom told me that's just at the end of the court. She used to say, uh, She used to say, don't get mad because it's just at the, it just at the end of the court. And I don't know what she meant by that. You know, makes me, I got to think about that. Because as I'm getting older, I'm getting some of these things that she used to tell me. If a naiyoti does, the dog is annoyed. We had one that way the other day. It was hot and those kids were crawling all over him. He kind of growled at him. That was the first time he growled at him. And I said, Jinayoth, don't go. He's annoyed with y'all. Leave him alone. He was naiyoti. He was, he was, uh, he was he was annoyed with those kids because it was hot. And I told those kids, I said, spray him down. So we got a hose and spray cold water on him. And he loved it. You know, but he got annoyed with them because, you know, who wants to bother, you know, be outside in this 108 degrees and be bothered by kids. And Boshabi. Then, you know, it's desperate and greedy, but you can use this in two different ways, like um Ilibega in the Shah Bushi do us. That person was desperately needing shoes, you know. Or don't know what English Shah Bushi was needing money. He was desperately needing money. But then there's that Koshabi for greed. And that's how come I told my husband, you Koshabi. I tell him that and he'll just laugh, you know. And but I call him Gushabi sometimes because that's a bad part of being he was greedy, you know. <laughs> greedy. So any questions so far on what we are going to study? Because we are going to go through why, when, who, how, what, which, where, but we're going to go and do them in parts. We're going to do them in parts because they're kind of hard to uh, understand and use.
But you're going in depth now because we've been at this for a while this time. We moved on to start learning things. And the next one in August, we're going to, middle of August, probably we're going to do like a yiga to go, to go backwards, to go forward, to go, uh, to go around, to go on top of, walk, walk on something, on top of something. We're going to do that. So see how in depth we're going. So we're going to, and I'm getting papers ready and it, you know, I start doing my lesson plans early and then I start going, you know, because you do go all the time. You go to sleep, you go to, you go, you walk on the floor, you walk on carpet, you are just going around, you, uh, you go to town, you go to the bathroom. You do, you, you, you use go all the time. So that's going to be the next one. So if you want me to back up a bit, we will. We'll back up. It doesn't bother me to back up. Any questions? Remember now, means for you, just one person. I'm talking to you. But if I say, that means for more than two. It's like a crowd. And that's just like going to Chihijahis. I will see you. Chihijahis means I will see all of you or I will see everyone to a crowd. If y'all got those papers, the previous students, you know, go back to them and start going over them because it's gone. And, and, you know, I tell my students, keep your papers because you can refer back to them anytime when you need to. You can refer back to it. And some of this we're going to refer, you know, you're going to have to refer back to. So I hope you hung on, hung on to all your papers because you will have to refer back. Uh, any questions so far? Any questions? Aboka oja chigo. Aboka. Okay. Aboka o. Aboka ham ke no jesh. Oh, I know. Abohe bas. Ishti baba. Pikham ki. Maho ki roa. Pikham ki or pikham ki. Pikham ki. It depends on how you say it. Um, yeah. It's a no. Fikhamgiros, you're saying the lion is brave. When you say istibaba fikhamgiros, um, you can say is the there lion. H in there? Fikhamgi. Is there, is there ah. H in that word? Ah, mongoro. If ah. it would be, you would say like woki, woki. Yeah. It's got an H but, in there. But, uh -huh. It don't have that istibaba. There? Uh, oh, the lion, that not, would be brave. Uh -huh. uh, but if fik, say, it, it doesn't say fik hamgi. It doesn't say that. Oh, that's right. Good thing you called. That got a he in there. H. There's a typo in there. See, that's what I'm saying. I'm just going through these. Boy, when I get to doing this, I do it. It's fik hamgi. It's got an H in there. Maro, Joe. Maro. Maro, Maro. I thought. I thought I was missing something there, you know, oh, and I thought, well, oh, I, yeah. I didn't even notice that. Fik hamgi. It's got guys right here. It needs an H. It needs an H right there between the K, the G, and the A. Uh, okay? Between the G and the A, uh, it needs a he, H in there, between the K and the B. You're right. I didn't even notice that. Fik hamgi. You're good job. My don't you get <laughs> I what thought I had been wrong. <laughs> no. Uh, that's actually thick hum hum hum. So <laughs> but oh I would have never had yeah. speaking and writing. My brain moves faster than my hands, or I don't look at that. So my don't you get that? Good thing you yeah. caught that. I was just reading it, become the way I speak it. So y'all guys, 
There's a typo there, but I'll fix that too. I left the letter out. Hukti but Sulgin, Ama, 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 I got it wrong. Well, my not Sulgin, me jaga. Oh, and a Lupkin don't Manak Allegado is G computer, Magad Allegado. And you knock, knock a mini hoskidundo. A mini hoskid. Confused. I made a horse kid. That's that's the word I was looking for. I made a horse kid always. I don't want to know your God. Yeah. What is a God? Masas lagi dundo. Masas lagi dundo. You know. But that's. But he said those. Uh huh. So that's big hamgi. It's got a. Remember, guys, it's got a H between the K and the B on this right here. Break. Nagin, I was I got until I looked at it. See, I didn't look at it till you just not told me how to teach story. Okay, guys, see that this is a fluent speaker. See how we're holding a conversation. We are holding a conversation here. And that's where I want to get you. I'd like to get you there. Mm -hmm. To a conversation. And it's just I mark it's key to always. And I Ayahanitska Magedois, but my Magitina, I'm a kiss, I kiss, I don't know as in my Masakusin, but I'm that when I don't know. Yeah, well, you know, Ga uh, in certain areas, you say, though, because Jeff won't uh -huh. fit it, but Ga Magnoad, Ga, you don't know as in Man Jeff Magi, Shamu Hagi, you don't know, no, and Ga Maga. Man, uh, certain Nakonaya God, um, Man Madua had it a cog and got my gay dewey more. You know, mm -hmm. more. but he said, Don't do it. But, uh, Istibonaya, my God, uh, Stoko, son, and Naki Mahoga, he said, Don't do it. Not Maka, Maka good always. Yeah, man, he didn't get see God, not Mako God. Makuna who yaka. Dingi see, don't get not Mako Akisido. Manka, you know, my church game for him. Ah, got my god, nugget on the wall. Get that. Ah, she said, Got my god, but um, I hit Scott. I hit Jack. Mathafagi does, Margimas. Oh, as I'm on a go, must not eat a man, one ate a slick. I'm on a good impo. How am I impo? Hey, dig on it all. I'm on a good man, but not either man. Had I'm bonnet a slag and he was to a door. I'm on a good. Um, always impo. Hey, dig on it all. Jack, my god, my oh, and Jack, my god, you can't transfer my good on the pronoun. Oh, huh? Jack, my god, like Jafuni, Jaga. My pronoun is to me good. I got my whole got my chaff me to the duty. That makes sense. Uh huh. Uh, any more questions? My door was five minutes. Also, does she not get a book? Oh, that's not how you want a boogie box. If you are, we got about five minutes. If you want to ask questions, you'll go ahead and ask and now make this time for questions. See, he caught my, see, remember I told you, I make mistakes. So don't be afraid to make them. I'm glad he pointed that out to me because uh, I was, I, I just speak, I didn't even hear. I wasn't looking at what was up here. Okay. Okay, the words that I, different words that I want you to remember is messy. That's a different word. Y'all never had that. Mesti. And da fa ji je ji. Da fa ji je ji. It says it really makes you laugh. Da fa ji je ji. Like, what is it? Da fa ji je ji dos. The cat is hilarious. And when you, 
that that's like a describe, describing that it merely makes you laugh. It's hilarious. It's saying actually in literal translation, the cat really makes you laugh. <laughs> okay. Um, Misty. And remember, all these feelings are used in different ways. Like senile fancy can be worried or concerned. Worried or concerned. Okay. Okay. Miska. Compassion. Bignoki means sad or grieved. Okay. You can use it in different ways. Sad or grieved. <laughs> <laughs> Any questions? Omijida <laughs> hate. So remember now, I want y'all to be looking over these words. <laughs> Try to retain them and use them if you can. Use them. Uh, language is vocal. You got to vocalize it. Language doesn't stay in your head. It's in your heart, but it doesn't stay in your head. It's got to be vocalized. It's got to be vocalized. That's how we communicate through vocal. So you got to be vocal. You got to vocalize it. So that's how I tell you, you know, say them, say them, say it to somebody like everyday thing. How many times do you say thank you in a day? Say my dog. I say it to anybody, and even if they don't understand, I say my dog. We pronounce who again? Okay. How do you pronounce Anogitschka? Anogitschka. That's love. Anogitschka. Anogitschka. Can you say it? Do you have your mic on? Anogitschka. Anogitschka. Very good. My, yeah. Uh -huh, that's very good. Anogitschka. Very good. Very, that's very good. Anogitschka. And, and you know, that's part of everyday life. You know, um, Oh, you know, my mother used to tell me, and I used to tell people, you know, your heart grows. You know, there may be starting off with just one little person in there, and two people comes in, three people comes in, you meet somebody, four people comes in, five people comes in, and before you know it, you know, your heart never gets full. Never gets full. It always makes space for everybody. So that's it. I like that word, Anubichka. Any other comments or questions? Hasiskika, Sun Major, Hamgat, Othibiga, Mado, Jigansagas, Hasiskika, Sun Major, Mado, I'm telling you. Boxing is boxy is tomorrow. I will see you. See you, y'all guys. I will see y'all. In Inga. Oh, I know. Jihigagath is G. My dog. My dog. I got one thing. Inga. Inga. 